Hello, Instagram Live. I'm now going to connect us to Grace Petrie. Uh, it says she isn't there. Um, so, Grace, hopefully you were going to tune in. There you go. There she is. Hello, Grace Petrie. Are you there? It says I'm waiting for you. Hey. hey. Hello. Grace Petrie, welcome to the Guilty Feminist, the new normal. Hello, mate. How are you? Do you know what? I'm in prison inside my own house. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've it's heard. fucking weird, isn't it? Can you hear me I... all right if I'm in here? Mm, I can. Oh, I don't know. I was meant to have headphones. I don't know where they are. Um, can okay. everyone hear me? Yesterday it was a bit quiet. Am I meant to have headphones? I mean, I think these things do make a bit of a difference. But yesterday Tom had to pause it. If people can hear me, I'm not going to bother because I don't want to... I don't want to lose the following we've got. We've got 244 people watching. That's 488 eyes currently. Watching this, this dynamite, this 24 karat gold. Watching this 24 karat gold, babe. Yeah. Uh, so we'll wait till a few more people come on and we'll just do a bit of chit chat. See, this is what happens. That you can just read the comments as it's coming in. Oh my oh, God. Sorry, I'm this tapping my awful. face, but I'm only affected myself. You can't without pausing it, Tom, and we don't want to pause okay. them. Can you? Right. Okay. Let's see. We're saying you can just, we can so hear you. you. Can just read, people can the just sound comment. Is perfect. People are saying, let's not mess with. That my landlord. This. No, now she's gone. I haven't no. gone. I'm here. Yeah, but Tom, I didn't want that. I just said no. And then this is a prime example of men being, being helpful. No but means not no, really Tom. Being helpful. <laughs> you don't need headphones, you're right. So, um, hello to Grace. Uh, she says hello. 73 people now, so I think, should we go? 272, someone's dropped off. Someone's been like, fuck, <laughs> Mate, this. Not getting on we're losing them. them already. Yes. Jesus Christ. Someone says, is your wall made of polos, Grace? I answered that already. Keep up, Deb. The answer is no. I wish it was. <laughs> it okay. Be, it would be helpful in times of lockdown to have a wall made of polos. Uh, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Yeah. So um, my first question is, and it's the same questions every day, but a different guest every day. But mm. we can come back to you in two weeks. The answers might be very different. Come back to me in an hour and they'll be different, I imagine. But go on. <laughs> um, firstly, Grace, how the hell are you? Question number one. I am weird. Oh. <laughs> I'm a... Yeah, fucking weird, man. Um, it's not normal. This is why not this, normal. this show's called Bill Spemmons, The New Normal. Yeah. Um, I'm fine. I'm up and down. I think like we all are. Um, I am a very, 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 very extroverted person. Mm -hmm. Me so too. This is uh, pretty tough on old, old peach peels um, because I can't show off. Uh, it's gonna be the longest mm -hmm. time I've gone without an audience in a very long time. Me too. Um, I've realised I haven't been off stage for longer than a week or two since I left uni. Yeah, this is this is already the longest time for me in about seven years, I think. Um, and so, and I've already, and I'm doing loads of stuff online. So I'm get, I'm showing off to the absolute maximum ability that technology will allow. Um, yeah. But I think I'm okay. I'm very, very, very grateful that I have a flatmate, housemate with me here, um, who was not really supposed to be here at this point, but he was on tour with me in Australia. Mm -hmm. My fiddle player, Ben, uh, if you've been watching our cover videos, you'll know Ben. We have. Um, and he is, I guess he's stuck with me. <laughs> I guess he lives here now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm people have got lost. I'd be, I'd be going totally crackers, I think, if I was totally on my own. Somebody said, love you, Grace. Wow, this is, this is nice. wild. My comments have stopped scrolling. I'm having to hand scroll them. Sorry I'm touching my face. This is a terrible example, but I, I just have to. And I'm, Tom and I are doing the full, we really are being incredibly responsible, full lockdown. I mean, imagine if I get it, Tom's going to get it. Think so. Unless really you have a very, being... very distant relationship. <laughs> yeah, we're, I mean, we're sleeping in the same bed. It's, it's, it's super. All right, don't show off. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Are you and Ben, ben the fiddle player not sleeping? <laughs> oh, my God. Room? Ben the fiddle player is looking more attractive by the day, honestly. I mean... I think that I have... I have, I have yeah, it's, 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 it's hard time. Pray for your single friends who just don't really know when uh, this well, dry this spell is going to end. Rubes Walsh says, we're allowed to touch your face when we're at home. Thank you. Uh, if you've washed your hands. I have. I've just washed my hands. And I'm going to wash them after I've touched my face. Um, 
Yeah, I th I was thinking about in 20 years time, all the movies there are going to be about the Corona reunion. So mm. like the cup, like the flatmates that literally never saw each other after quarantine because of that thing that happened. And 20 years later, one of them comes back or like there's something else that happens and they get stuck together again. Mm. Um, and so I was thinking about that. I keep thinking of what life will be like post this new normal when it goes back to something approximating our old life with some sure. added hygiene and connection and perhaps some of the good things we've learned. Mm -hmm. um, and that's so some of the art I'm thinking about. And then I'm thinking about, wow, what's, you know, 10 years later going to look like? What's 20 years later? How will we look on this time in history? Um, well, there's just no way of knowing what anything is going to look like. I mean, already, you know, I was just thinking about how, like this time last week, <laughs> yes. we were still talking about, uh, so I was supposed to be on tour as you were, of course, in May. And um, I was this time last week, I was still we were still in talks about whether or not that was possibly going to go ahead if this is if this was going to kind of all be, you know, all be over by then. And obviously, it's just escalating very, very quickly. I mean, we're already in so much of the official advice is so much different than it was even like 48 hours ago so um yeah it's impossible to know isn't it it's impossible to know like what anything's gonna look like the other side i mean yeah. like, people keep saying telling me to write songs and i just it, it, I, I, I can't, I know. Can't ask, uh, well i've only started anything that is remotely relevant to anything right now completely i've only started this this week because last week and i felt like people were waiting for me to say something and i i knew that the guilty feminist Listeners would be like, Deb, where are you? And I, mm. quite honestly, my head was just so not in the zone. Mm. And one of my friends who's a comedian said to me, um, you can be Deb's this week and you can be Deb and Francis White next week. Like, just don't, you know. For sure. And yeah. I think that, you know, all of us have had odd responses. Now, my, has my response been the full Madonna sit in a bath of roses <laughs> and talk about what a leveller it is? over spooky music no but do i judge <laughs> her for that a bit listen but, i do that every friday night anyway that I was mean, my that was my relax relaxation free corona exactly <laughs> so we should get on with more questions okay um, has this crisis given you new, any new i'm a feminist but so for example for me i'm a feminist but i am genuinely wondering why i didn't get a pedicure before this i'm going to show you my toes <laughs> you can see they're on the cusp. I'm just see if I can show you. They're on the cusp of needing. Wow! Like, like when? When's this? This is very. Happen? This feels very X-rated. My... <laughs> well, there is that. There is, of course, that. Um, I keep that... forgetting there's an audience for this. No, I mean, <laughs> listen. I need to get my viewers up. Um, <laughs> um, and some people love it. You got It's it's it's. I'm at that point where I just about need one in four months, so I'm gonna to have to do it myself, but there's shellac. So I'm a feminist, but I'm genuinely worried about my mother and how I would get to her if she got it, which I wouldn't yeah. be able to do. And I'm also worried about my manicure and my pedicure. <laughs> Isn't that awful? But yeah, these are the things well, you think you've got, I'm spending a lot of time looking at my bare feet now because I'm inside the whole time. Mm, do you have one? I have one, which this is actually, I'm, 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 I'm very ashamed of this. This is very true. Um, I, um, uh, I'm a feminist, but, um, so Ben and I have been doing these, we've been doing an A to Z of covers. So we post a video every day. Yes. Um, been very enjoying to, uh, D, uh, last night we did, um, Dancing on My Own by Robin and we recorded the whole thing mm -hmm. and, um, I <laughs> made Ben <laughs> do the entire thing again because we had positioned the phone at what I described as an unflattering angle. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah. this thing now is angles and lighting and, you know, oh, I'm yeah. getting into things because I made a video for Choose Love for the Mother's Day and I made it in poor light and I went, don't be so vain, just put it on there. Mm. Come on, it's Choose mm -hmm. Love, just get it up. It's, you know, but um, uh, I was so um, I was regressing it once I put it up because it looks so bad and every time I flicked through my stories or anything like that I was like oh my god why would you do that you would see mm. the real the worst case scenario you and it's not a real me it's me in a bad light that's just as real as me in a good light isn't it yeah yeah 
So I'm no, hey, I've, 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 this I've, carefully. It's been an education in lighting and angles oh. and apparently how fucking incredibly fragile my self-esteem is. Oh my so, God. Um, Completely. Completely. Yeah, loving self we don't have, you know, we don't have any grooming, so we've got to look after the lighting. What are your coping strategies, question three, for being emotionally stable, mentally okay? And do you, do you have anything yet? Or are you still in the ah! stage? Have you found anything successful? Um, well, so, uh, <laughs> I've ju I'm just finding that, um, this sounds so incredibly basic. But um, last week I was just not really getting like dressed much. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I've really made a point of like being like uh, getting properly dressed mm -hmm. and like wearing clean <laughs> clothes. <laughs> the, bar got the bar is pretty low. The bar is pretty low. But the thing is, it's just very easy to be like, "What's the point? Only Ben is going to see me." Do you know what I mean? But you know, I want to look nice for Ben. <laughs> Frank. Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, coping strategies. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that I'm 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 really um, there yet. I don't think. Um, I mean, I think it's um, it's going to be interesting to see in a f like in a few days, like in a couple of weeks. I think when we're really kind of properly into this, because it's still very very new. I cannot um, think beyond one week. I can think in one week chunks. Like, how will it be in a week? I cannot even entertain what I will be like in four months. Mm. But I will tell you that I'm not a walker. I'm not one of life's walkers. If you, you know me. Yeah. We toured around Australia and New Zealand together very recently. We did. And what will I say when you say, let's go for a pizza. It's just down there. We'll walk. What will I say? Shall we get an Uber? Thank you. <laughs> Every time. Now I'm not legally allowed to walk more than yeah. once a day. The human psyche, which is a mysterious and fascinating mm. place. Um, and also, I'm not getting that normal, you know, get out of the Uber, walk into the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> walk up the stairs to go to the lift. I'm not getting into that anymore. I'm not getting that oh, normal. Oh, I know, mate. Yeah. Just leaving the house. Really missing out on those, those 10 to 12 foot walks between the Uber and the fucking restaurant. It's all I'm saying. Just the normal exercise that you get from being on stage for an hour or, you know, any of that. Mm. I... And, and just, I'm not allowed to go outside. Yeah. My, my daily walk, which as soon as I was told I was allowed one walk a day, I was like, I'm having it. And mm. it was so sunny today. And I went out and Tom had to come back for a call. We went together. And um, I said, oh, no, I'm staying out. And normally I'd be like, oh, well, if you're going back, I'll go back. How long have we been? That's enough. And I was like, how late can I stay? I got back in like one minute before my own conference call mm. because I was... And I was so mindful on the walk. I was looking at everything and I was taking in the sun and it was so yeah. more beautiful than normal. And I, I think I might become a walk. I'm going to have an hour's walk every day and I'm going to become a walker. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to go out more than I'm allowed. I really want to take this seriously. I'm not going to try and break the rules. Mm. But dude, dude, I am now a walker. I'm now somebody who loves to connect. I don't want to be on my phone when I'm talking to you partly mm. because I can't be because I'm already on my phone by talking to you mm. but I'm not sort of thinking oh what's on what's up yeah yeah it's normally I, Grace, I, I think I, I have am. more like all like so many friends have got in touch and been like can we FaceTime who I only speak to like once or twice a year I know and it's so funny like it's I mean it's really sweet and I get it and I feel very I feel much the same like that that instinct to connect is very very strong suddenly but it's just it is i'm finding it like there is a part of me that's a bit like guys we need to dial it back it's been it's been <laughs> like a week i know. You know but we have to remember that nothing our clutch of generations living side by side in this part of the world have had a uniquely uh incident free existence mm -hmm. Like you look at any other generation of history or any other place in the world over the last five, six decades, people have consistently had to combat uh, plagues and, and death and war and all of these things. And we, we're just this clutch of generations that in this place that we, we're in a blip. And I've said this for years. We were yeah. in time, we're temporarily and geographically, we're in this blip of convenience and luxury and protection and costedness. And within mm -hmm. that, of course, relatively people are very privileged and very unprivileged. And I'm one of the more privileged ones. And I understand that. But overall, 
we just haven't had anything like this. So we're, we're mm. just freaking out. And, and, we're, and we're total pansies as well. We're just not, we're just not prepared for this. You and know, can I, I just know, say... I'm just so, I've, I've not realised how fucking soft I am, how, how completely, like, not prepared for any kind of battle I am at all. You know, I've just been, I've just been like, uh, ve yeah, very emotional, very emotional indeed. The the turn of phrase pansies is, of course, owned by uh, Grace Petrie as a as a as a high profile member of the queer community, <laughs> but it's not it's not owned by me or the guilty feminists. The last thing I need to do is get cancelled right now. I don't think Listen. you're going to get cancelled in the middle of this. I think people you're not going to get cancelled for pansies. No, not people gonna are going to need you. Cancelled. What I'm doing is I'm coining phrases. I coin self ice. It's well, been hugely successful. Listen, I have been phenomenally question. successful. What helps you? You walk down the street, you can't hear anybody saying anything other than self ice. What Stop trying to make to fetch happen. Fuck off! I wish people would stop saying that to me. Um, so my next question. Somebody just commented. It's catching on. These, I'm very distracted by these comments. I've never done one of these before. I know. You're, it's, you're, it's intriguing, isn't it? Yeah, self -ice, you're taking my, my uh, self -ice. Um, it's just taken off. Someone said it. Self ice. Take it's Mate, taken. it's all over the world. You need to get on board. <laughs> Keep trying to make fetch happen. Keep trying to make fetch happen. I fucking will. I will. <laughs> I know you. Perseverance, you. mate. Perseverance. You're, you're like a dog with a bone. You're go out with, with nothing but straight girls without a lot of perseverance. That's what I've learned. I may hashtag feel good. We're going to come to that. <laughs> Um, can I ask what you're surprised by? What's the weirdest thing about you for this for you personally? What's odd? Uh, for me today, it was when I went for my walk, my, my government mandated walk. Um, uh, it felt very handmade. Um, uh, I kept having, it was like a video game because in London you have to dodge people and people weren't going around. So I was like, as soon as I saw anyone coming, I would like jump into the road. And then I was like, you know, don't get hit by a car. Like I was going around people, I was stepping into doorways to try to avoid people. And a lot of people, some people, I tried to smile and be friendly to everyone. I tried to be like, oh, all in this together, nod, mm -hmm. smile, salute, you know, you know, physical distance, etc. Mm -hmm. Some people also smiled and went, yes, oh, oh, oh. And some people looked at me furious, like I had implied that the plague and actually rolled their eyes at me like, for God's sake. Yeah. And I was like, look, I'm having to do this because I want people to do that where my mother lives because she's yeah, yeah. Home and I can't get to her. So, Grace, has anything surprised you? I'm surprised that going for a walk is now like a video game. Huh. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, I was surprised uh, how much I am really missing hugs. Uh, mm. Yeah, just. I noticed you are clutching a dog. <laughs> handbag in a crowded marketplace. I'm clutching this dog 24-7 at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. He's not even mine. I found him. No, uh, he's, uh, he is, of course, mine. This is Frank. A lot of people are uh, putting on the comments, who's this dog? This dog is called Frank. Um, he is the neediest dog in the world, and he is fucking sick of my company. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, missing hugs a lot, and, um, and I think I will... I, I just have found it surprising how... Um, I mean, I just, I don't want to complain too much because I'm just tremendously, tremendously, tremendously lucky compared to a lot of people. Of course, um, but this is, this is what this show is about. Yeah. And a lot of people will relax and relate if you yes. say, this is how I'm feeling. That's the whole point of this. We're yes. allowed to say whatever. I think I just have been surprised how difficult I, how difficult it is. Uh, 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 the, um, uh, the, the, the not knowing how long it's going to go on for. Um, is very mentally taxing. I think I had a real, I had a real down day the other day. That I was just, it was on Mother's Day, and that, and, and Mother's Day actually, historically, is not even really a very big deal in my family. You know what I mean? All we would have been doing is maybe going for a pub lunch or something. But I really got very like, yeah, just quite catastrophic thinking. And I'm, and I'm, I am someone who is quite prone to. Um, I'm not, I'm not a particularly like negative person. I'm quite a, quite annoyingly like optimistic most of the time mm -hmm. um but i think you know what people say about introverts and extroverts and stuff i think i do actually draw so much energy from uh being around people and uh I think, oh me yeah, too I think, 
Well, Grace, you know, I was alone on the American and Canadian tour and I love the shows and the audiences, but the in-between times when I was alone, I found so difficult. Sure. I got very depressed. And then I was yeah. with you and our tour manager, Jeff, and a lot mm -hmm. of the time, Cal Wilson or other great co-hosts in Australia and New Zealand. And I had the time of my life and I didn't want to come back. So it wasn't like it was a bit better here, it was a bit worse here. One experience was kind of felt crippling and the other yeah. felt emboldening and power yeah. empowering and nourishing right you get you and nourishing. Drink from it that's it and that's because i'm an extrovert but i need to moan you know lots of times like when we were in melbourne for that week i would just be like i'm gonna write all day you go to the beach it wasn't like we were on top of each other but that's that connection of you'd come back and <laughs> i mean <laughs> The quarantine. People have been saying, queer did you say quarantine? Before? Quarantine. Yeah. That's not what I coined. Oh, maybe I didn't coin it, but I did use it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, people yeah. are loving that. But um, hashtag self ice. Okay, we were not. We were not. <laughs> keep trying to make it happen. Self um, ice, ice, baby. Queer. Yeah, it was not a quarantine in Melbourne, just to be incredibly clear, incredibly queer. Um, but. Um, you know, you just make a cup of tea together saying, oh, I've done my work now, should we go down for a pizza or something? It's just that connection. Should we get an Uber to the pizzeria? <laughs> should we get an Uber to a pizzeria that is too close for an Uber? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so my next question is, do you have anything approaching a routine now in the new normal? And you don't have to. If you don't, that's absolutely fine too. That will relax people. But is there anything you do to mark or punctuate your day? Other, we've covered getting dressed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the only thing that I do every day is I walk the dog. Um, and I think even if you don't have a dog, I would recommend just, just taking your walk, taking your government issued walk before they take it away. Um, because I think like you say, it's just... <laughs> what? take your, this is, this is going to be the slogan from today. Take your government issued walk before they take it away. Yes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> These are the times we live in, man. These are the times we live in. Um, uh, yeah, so my routine is, uh, uh, yeah, a lot of it is around um, the, uh, I w walk the dog and uh, just been watching the briefings. Ben and I get, we get on the sofa, we get a cup of tea, we watch the briefings. Um, and uh, I don't know if that is like a good thing at all, because uh, mm. I actually find the briefings incredibly stressful and anxiety inducing. Um, so, um, that's about as much of a, as of a routine as I've got. I have been like, I've been threatening to like start writing a fucking novel as if anybody needs that. Um, uh, <laughs> we want you to write songs. And if you're not, if you're not, oh, God. songs, you don't have to write a novel, but baby, that is the thing you want to do. <laughs> you are not the first very close friend of mine who has actively discouraged me from writing. No, this I'm book. not discouraging it, but I'm saying <laughs> there's no obligation. This whole, you've got to write King Lear and invent gravity. I mean. Yeah. No, no, I mean, I'm not going to write something. Yeah. I'm probably yeah. not going to write a novel. No, Listen, no, no, all I'm managing to do is my walk, and getting dressed is an achievement at the moment, so, you know, mm -hmm. and starting drinking apparently earlier every day. There's someone here says, please write a novel, so there you go. That's encouragement from... What well, person? Publisher. That's all you need, I think, isn't it? Can you write just get on your color. publisher and say, we've got a reader El lined up? Elizabeth Read said, it singular. we need Grace Petrie novels, so write a book about Frank. Somebody here says, write a book about Frank. Well, yeah. Yeah. I'm I mean, listen, I, I, if the, I just want to say to the 325 people viewing this that nothing is more crystal clear to me throughout this entire self-isolation than uh, people care about Frank-related content far more than they care about... I mean, content. that is the but thing. Honestly, I, my career hangs by a thread, and the thread is, is this dog, Frank. this 12-year-old dog. Write Frank's memoirs, please. People really want this. Frank's a fucking few memoirs. Friends. You write Frank's memoirs. I'm going to write a novel... And Frank can release his memoirs and we'll see which does better. Fucking hell. I, this is what's going to happen. I started off being like, walking the dog is keeping me sane. And now, you know, he's going to become my, my rival and a much yeah. more successful entertainer than I am. Oh, he's yawning. Cool. Yeah, that's not a great review. For, we need an audience daily and Frank yawns at us. This is not, this is not nice. Yeah. Frank, take that back. Um, yeah. A few of my friends, messages from my friends have popped up on WhatsApp saying, um, I'm trying to watch and it seems to have gone. Oh. Um, or uh, did, was it good that they can't get on? So we may have thousands of viewers trying to get on that can't get on. Just want you to know that. Okay. Um, uh, this Are we going to do anything about that? Or you just... Nah, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> I think it's just that Insta, Insta Live is overcrowded because everyone's all everyone does is live stream all day. Yeah, um, all the extroverts like us, mate. We're just jumping on there. We're just jumping on. Can't be on. alone. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I cease to exist without an audience. <laughs> um, speaking of which, speaking of books, speaking of novels you're going to write, uh, next question is, read any good books lately? Any recommendations for us? Oh, well, I did want to talk about this book um, by a Canadian author called M.E. Girard. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, G-I-R-A-R-D. Um, and it's a brilliant book. It's actually a young adult book uh, called Girl Man's Up. Um, I read it last year, but um, I think that uh, it's just a brilliantly written book. And it's like about a teenage... Um... <laughs> I'm so distracted by these comments, sorry. Um, it's about a teenage, uh, like, lesbian, who, like, sort of coming to terms with, like, being a butch lesbian. Obviously, it's very up my street. Mm. Um for the viewers at home, I am also a butch lesbian. And, um, up the street and down your alley. Up my street and down my alley. I thought you said up the street of Daniel Radcliffe. I was like, is he a butch lesbian? <laughs> um, you never know. Um, but, uh, and it's just like very, very well written from the first person. It kind of explores like the nuance of like uh, gender identity and gender stereotypes and gender roles. And it's also a very cool like uh, first person, um, second generation immigrant story. Oh, wow. um, What's yeah, it called again? Girl Man's Up. It's very, very good. I would really recommend Girl it. Girl Man's Up. Yeah. Um, and movies, TV shows, music, anything. Let's talk you... about Feel Good. Let's talk about Feel Good. Oh, feel God. Good. Has it changed oh, my life? Oh my God. It's changed my life. It's made me need to go back to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm no i'm joking i mean i'm not joking um but uh yeah what an incredibly what an incredibly written show what an incredibly beautifully acted show what an incredible just may martin is uh is amazing absolutely amazing but i do um so if, uh, if anyone's seen me on the guilty feminist or seen me at any of my shows you will know that i make a lot of jokes about um having a lot of songs about straight girls and there was just a lot of lines in that show that were fucking hard. Ben, am I there? Oh, you frozen. Okay. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you are. Okay. What did I used to call so you on? The, like, what so did I used to call you on the tour because of your your <laughs> habit of dating uh, by curious women who were had previously only had opposite sex experiences till they met you, but then you had changed that. What did I call you? I believe the term was the galchemist. The galchemist, uh, that's right. The galchemist. Because, I and, mean, and, you know. And I won't need to make that happen because that's going to happen well, tomorrow. So. I suppose Great that's happening. I Galchemy, suppose that's happening. it should be the name of your next album. Yeah, so I mean, Galchemist. it's, um, all the comments are just like, this is so close to the bone, straight girl, sad face. And I'm right there with you. So close to the bone, straight girl, sad face. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was absolutely incredible. But but literally, it's so so I over identified with a lot of the fucking lines in it so much. Like that scene. I mean, like spoiler alert. If I mean, who hasn't binged it? Right? Who's watching this? I imagine that every single person out there has binged it. But like, there's just a line in it where she says to Charlotte Ritchie, uh, "I'm not a boy. I'm not a girl. I'm just like a failed version of both." And like, <sighs> my heart. You know, Ben and I were watching it and he literally just turned to me and was like, he kept turning to me and going, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> and and you then another one of my friends mine. last I'm night just... sent, me, I... sent me a message literally just saying, um, how dare May Martin write a TV show entirely about you, Grace Beatty. So mm -hmm. to say that I was over-identifying with it somewhat would be, would be accurate. But I just cannot, I think it is the most beautiful piece of television I've seen in such mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. And if you've just tuned in, that is May Martin's Feel Good. It's on, four, oh, it's on all four and it's also on Netflix. So damn good. Mm -hmm. um, she's going to be on the Girls Feminist soon talking about it. Oh, Girls wow. Oh, God, can I come? <laughs> yeah, when you the can. Feminist is on again. Yeah, when, well, we can meet again. when the sun comes the, out, we're doing we it on again. Zoom. We're recording it on Zoom. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, I, the next question is Do you have any pets, costumes, or eccentric relics you'd like to show us? Costumes. Now, you've already shown us, Frank, but can we see Frank more up close, or is there anything else you'd like to show us? You can see him more up close. I was just, I think I was just putting my phone on charge. I think. Oops. Are we going to lose you? You still there? Yes. Okay, sorry, this is a brave new world for Petrie. Um, you can see Frank more um, 
uh, clearly, I suppose. <gasps> Frank! This is Frank. What a good boy. Frank. What a what a magnificent boy. Oh, oh. Yes. yes, no kisses. Oh, <laughs> some, somebody says, sorry, my dad misgendered Frank at Pride. Right. <laughs> Did they assume Frank was a girl because you're a girl? I mean, listen, I... I, I this is going to sound like I'm taking the piss, but I mean, Frank's never spoken to me about his gender. I'm assuming his gender. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, who can say uh, about Frank's identity, really? Um, but uh, that, as far as I am aware, he is he is a boy. Um, so, uh, anything else you'd like to show us <laughs> um, ab about my house? Um, it, you don't have to, but if there's anything no. else you'd like to show us, you're very welcome. We'd love to see. A bit like when Patty Lapone showed us her basement, all puns intended. Um, it was exciting. So if you've well, got anything hey. you'd like to show us other than Frank, you, you, we'd love I mean, to I've see got, it. I've got, a, I've got to hold something back for the Patreon when I start running out of money. So I think uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's pay, paying paying customers only for my basement. Um, what have I got in here? I've got a picture of... Um, uh, let me show you this. I've got a picture of my... So my niece, Ivy, that I have a song about called Ivy. <gasps> Can this we see? This is a picture of me oh. and her. This is very first born. Beautiful. Oh my God, you look so young. Well, it was uh, nearly six years ago. Yeah. So. Um, Not that you look old now, but you look. I am old and haggard good. now. Um, mm. No, you're not, here? but you um, look so innocent. Ben also brought with him an incredible array of board games, <gasps> um, which we are probably going to make our way through. I as, suspect. Uh, as self ice continues. Um, that's probably about it, I think. Amazing. Uh, Thank you very yeah. much for showing us a little bit of Grace Petrie's house. Hey, um, this makes me feel quite ITV, this part. Um, like through the keyhole. <laughs> can I ask you? Who lives in a house? Low like battery, you? Can, you, can you please top up my battery? Tom? Thank you. Um, sorry, you're really seeing behind the curtain here. This quarantine's not showing any of us in a good light. Um, can, you charge, can you find something to charge me up? Self ice. Uh, uh, can you tell us a dark thought or low moment that you've had? So, um, you know, sort of like uh, Alison Spittle said yesterday that she she thought the milk was still fresh and it should have been according to the date, and then it wasn't, and she just absolutely sobbed. Um, you know, like she just was like, "No, it's not milk," and, you know, and just and mm. and I have this. I have a weird thing where I don't know why I'm crying. I think I'm actually feeling all right. And then I just sit down and I just, some tiny thing or even I don't know why will just set me off. Um, mm. And I've also had some dark thoughts about police. I, I understand this is so necessary and I'm not in any way fighting it, but just scared of governments being able to bring in restrictions and what, I, I, I know it's irrational because I know capitalism and their desire to make money again will mean yeah. of course they'll want Glastonbury back on. But my yes. theory is they'll go, well, we just can't have any large gatherings. So that's mm. a sort of dark thought. Thank you, darling, so much. That's Tom Selinsky, everybody. Um, hi, Tom. Um, Grace says hi. Hi, Grace. Um, so do you have any dark thoughts or um, uh, have you had a moment the way... Because it just I'm only doing this not to dwell on dark things, but it I my experience is it's relaxed people when I've confessed mine, it's made them go, oh, yeah. thank God. I thought I was, you know, and sometimes my friends in, in their desire to be positive to me and my desire to be positive to them mm -hmm. go, Oh, well you need fresh air, you know, and actually you need to be able to process some of this stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I mean, so two things, two opposite ends of that spectrum. Um, I will start with the darker one. Mm -hmm. um, which was so on, as I said, on Mother's Day, um, we obviously couldn't get together as family. And I just, I think I, I think it was like the anxiety of, of the situation and, and, you know, a few days into it. And also like, I don't know, probably the place that I'm at in my menstrual cycle, but I just really spiraled a bit uh, and was really like, and I was talking to my mum on the phone and I was just like, really Whole, like choking back tears you know and, and like and really started and then I just suddenly started hugely catastrophizing mm. and thinking like what if 
my parents get it and what if they get it really badly and what if and then I and I got myself to and my parents by the way live three miles away from me I'm very 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 lucky um I have no reason to suspect that they won't touch wood you know live for many years to come but I just in my head I was just like what if I never see them again and thinking about all of the times that I didn't text my mum back or I didn't you know oh, make God. the effort to and I re and I really got really 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 uh, uh, down about that I'm really scared about that um and then it's funny because then I I just I woke up you know Monday morning and I was fine just much mm -hmm. better but um so that that was like a real 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 dark moment and like and my parents god bless them like so I have three I have three siblings I have two brothers and a sister and I, on Mother's Day, so I was calling my mum, I was like talking to her and literally she was like, she was like, oh, I've just got off the phone with your brother. And then like, as I was hanging up, she was like, God, your sister's calling me now. And I was like, she's just like sitting there fielding all of these concurrent face uncles from all of her needy fucking kids. Um, her repentant children going, I'm so yeah. sorry I didn't text you back. I'm so sorry I didn't come home. Yeah, home. exactly. When you want me to? Exactly, completely, yeah. Completely, yeah. completely. That fear of losing your parents. And I, because my mother's in Australia and they've closed the borders now, I wouldn't be able to of get course. to her. Yeah. And they've closed state borders, which means mm. my sister can't get to her. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, what would we do? And I, what I have to think is, she's not going to get it. Yeah, yeah. If she gets it, what is that? but there's no point sitting around every day going, what if she gets it now? What if she gets it now? I have to just go, she may not get it. Yeah, yeah. And that's you know, okay, you know, mm -hmm. like, it's okay. And if she does get it, we will, we will proceed from that space. We won't, you know, project through, but you need, you do need to be able to process it. You do need to be able to go, yeah, well, absolutely. I need, it, my, my concern, psychologist here, someone says dark thoughts are totally normal. I just feel if I don't have them, I'll suppress them down. If I don't put them out, put them on the table, have a look at them, I'll suppress them down and they'll come out in bad ways. Yeah, um, yeah. What piece of online feminism would you like to direct us to? And how can we help with that? So we want to help yeah. by doing the feminism we can do now that we can't, you know, do all the things that we used to be able to. So can we have something from you and we'll, all our listeners, watchers today will we'll, we'll, uh, get sure. involved? Sure thing. Um, so um, I uh, would like to just direct everybody's attention and energy to um, Survivors Network, uh, Sussex. Uh, which is a charity supporting uh, survivors of domestic abuse and sexual assault. Um, and like everybody else, they obviously have been very, very uh, hit very hard by this time. Um, obviously, I know there's been a lot of people have been saying about how um, self-isolation has additional dangers and challenges for people in abusive relationships. So um, they are not running a specific campaign, a uh, 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 crowdfund or anything, but um, the link to their website where you can just donate, uh, that they would appreciate any money that you've got to spare. Um, I think, is it gonna be in the swipe up? Yes, now I accidentally posted network. it on yeah. at DF Dubs, not Guilty Feminist. So cool. if you go after this, if you go to at DF Dubs, um, there is both Grace and my piece of online feminism today. You could just swipe up and it will go there. Mine is Stella Creasy has asked me to join her in asking the government to make sure there's provisions for uh, women who need abortions during this time. Because at the moment, I think they were asked to and they, they ignored it or they took it out. Mm -hmm. And so it's Stella's made it easy. If you swipe up, um, on the at DF Dubs story on this, it will automatically connect you, put your postcode in and you can write to your MP mm -hmm. uh, because women are going to be forced to carry feces to term that they don't want to have mm -hmm. uh, because of this. So we need to help with that. Oh, we really need to help with, uh, please uh, see if you can support, donate if you can, if you don't, I know everyone's worried about money at the moment. If you can't amplify, because there are plenty of wealthy people who are working from home and still have their jobs, um, and help, help, help that uh, that particular endeavour, and also other local uh, refuges, because mm -hmm. domestic violence is a real issue in a quarantine. Yeah, um, yeah. Just on the local thing as well, I just uh, would also like to just give a shout out to Jasmine House, uh, Leicester Rape Crisis. Um, I'm in Leicester. I'm from Leicester, so and they uh, really need your support and their money as well. So. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, what do you hope humanity will learn from this, if anything? 
Uh, the capitalism is broken and we need to fucking get rid of it. Um, I just really think that like, it is amazing, even though it's not, I mean, it's not like I didn't know this myself, but it is quite amazing. I will say it's quite amazing watching uh, the government, and I don't want to get this, like, I don't want to get too biopolitical about this, but the same government who have killed over 130,000 people with unnecessary austerity over the last 10 years, it is quite astonishing to have them just turn around and very nakedly go, oh, there was money all along. There always has been money because there always was money. <laughs> It was always a lie. It was always a myth that we needed to kill people because of austerity. Um, and so I just, I just think that, like, you know, we are at this point, we're at this crossroads, like, all over the world right now, where we're, like, deciding how we are going to live. We're deciding how we're going to treat each other. And I feel like somewhere along the line, and I think it is maybe connected to what you said about us being a generation that didn't have a great war, that didn't have a great plague. I feel like we've, like, lost sight of the fact that people invented money so that we could take care of each other like people invented money like money exists because of people people don't exist because of money right and i feel like we have become so lost we've become so lost with that point that like everything the market the economy just rule everything and actually it takes something that is as big as this where even a fucking dreadfully right-wing government as we have has got to say actually you know what guys money's all made up anyway and you all could you all should stop going to work because this is more important than that obviously i'm not saying we shouldn't we should all stop going to work but i just think like we need desperately to reorganize society so that we are prioritizing taking care of each other making sure that nobody's left behind right that's and i think it's just never ever ever been more transparent that mm -hmm. every single decision that is made in society to not prioritize taking care of each other is an ideological decision that we just, we have the ability, we have the room, we have the opportunity to make the dif a different decision. And after this, we're gonna have to. I really think we, we need to rebuild everything after this. Yeah, this is our opportunity to ask that capitalism, which now has been paused effectively, yeah. not be, not be started up again, but we start up again with a different goal, with a different end goal. As you say, we've lost sight of the goal at some place, mm -hmm. at some point. Um, can I ask um, what habits you might think stay with us, and this may be linked, when the new normal turns back into something approximating our regular life? So what might become the new normal forever now? So, mm -hmm. you know, hopefully we'll be out of our houses uh, <laughs> soon. Um, but what might because i think a lot of our meetings we're going to get used to the zoom you know, mm -hmm. way of having meetings and instead instead of everyone flying to philadelphia or you know for some conference or something mm -hmm. um we will realize we don't need to do all that it's so much better for the environment to stay in of one course. place yeah what of do course. you have anything that you think is going to become normal for society or for you i really hope that um the community spirit that's come out of this i hope will will endure you know like I, i've spoken to my neighbors more than i ha ever have before and mm. um you know just checking in with each other you know my my i was i was dropped my parents some shopping off today i was just leaving it on their doorstep um and you know their neighbors were just like popping a card through their door saying you know saying, <laughs> one of the comments here is grace you should stand for prime minister on a self-ice campaign <laughs> absolutely yeah self-ice for bm um yeah, I, I think, I just think um, it's so, and it, what is really interesting is that I've like never been on my phone more, obviously, than I have these last few days, but I feel like I'm using it in much more healthy ways to actually connect to people. Um, and I think that, you know, uh, just the, the, again, just like that, I wonder if everybody throughout every generation of history has ever felt as alienated and disconnected from the times they live in as I have felt for the last few years. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like we are, like, I don't want to sound too, like, corny and, like, you know, like I'm on the team of coronavirus, which I'm not. But, like, I think... No, it's we are like, so many I'm people. I'm very, I'm very anti-coronavirus. Just if to I'm be clear. If I'm going to be cancelled for anything, I don't want it to be for... No, no, no. ...pro-corona, because I'm not. I'm very, very, very... Antichrona. Um, but I think that it, it, it is times like this that you just rediscover 
what we're fucking here for. We weren't put on earth to endlessly make money, to endlessly grow economies. We we're put on earth to live our lives as well as we can with as much kindness and love as we can. And I, I really think that, I hope that those connections day to day, you know, will, will endure, you know? Um, I really hope they will too, Grace. Um, just to finish up, where can we see you? What are you doing? Can, have you got a Patreon? Anything that we can contribute to? Um, honestly, I'm not being... Um, <laughs> come on, a virus. Um, honestly, I'm not being um, uh, like self-decorating or kind when I say that um, last year I actually gigged myself silly. I gigged uh, 140 shows last year, so... Actually, there are many, 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 many more artists who are much more like close to the wire money wise than I am, um, especially because we're not going to pay tax in July. Um, I'm actually I'm, I'm fine. So please don't worry about me. There's a whole list of artists that I recently tweeted out on Friday who are all people who are like uh, would really benefit from you spending money on them at the moment. I'm going to be doing some stuff. Uh, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be putting out some online uh, streaming gigs and stuff. Um, but um, definitely put your money into uh, Survivors Network and Leicester Road Crisis and the artists who are telling you that they are kind of really um, in, in need of it at the moment because uh, I'm actually uh, quite a lot more. Well, everyone follow at Grace Petrie Music and check out what Grace is doing uh, with her fiddle player, Ben. They're putting out some great content. Yeah, so we're doing this Sorry, yeah, that's the other thing. We're doing this eight set of covers. We're going to be doing... Please watch out for E tonight. We're doing a song which I don't think is <laughs> possible to play on the acoustic guitar. And it's the either going to be amazing or it's going to be terrible in the end of my career. So well, please do exciting. tune in for E of the other. Raise the stakes on that. Mm. Um, if you are still on Instagram Live at 7 o'clock, Kima Bob is streaming from Fuck It Up Fock It Up Comedy. Fock is uh, F-O-C, oh, stands for Femmes of Colour. Uh, so please uh, tune in there for Kima Bob at uh, Fock It Up Comedy. And in the meantime, uh, the Guilty Femmes will be out as normal on Mondays. We do have a new Patreon to try and keep it going. We've never asked for money before, but now we don't have ticket sales. So, and we still pay our guests and our co-hosts and everything. And uh, it takes up an enormous amount of our working week. So if you could... Sure. Uh, contribute to the patreon that'd be great uh if you can't we would love to keep the guilty feminist coming to you anyway and if you could just tweet about it or something uh look at my other stories on at df dubs d f d u b z or d u b z if you're american and uh you can see grace's charity there and also uh my uh link to stella creasy and the abortion issue that's going on through corona and also look at the stories here if you want to look at the patreon Thank you so much. You've been a great audience. It's Thank been you lovely so much. to have you. And thanks for all your amazing comments. I'll read them all later. Ah, love, you. love you, Grace. Love you, Frank. Love you, Deb. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye.